In this SOLIDWORKS tutorial, we'll learn how to model this ring using SOLIDWORKS and we'll render it using PhotoView 360 with a light version of Modo. By building this shape, there are many ways of building this shape. And then we'll mirror it, as you can tell, and we'll do that a few times. So here we've got four, then we'll mirror up and down like this, and one more time. And then we'll flex it, find it's a bend, to do half the shape. Then we'll mirror it, and then we'll apply another bend, but the other way. You see, I put the, the detail amount to the highest. Okay, let's get started. So SOLIDWORKS 2020 or earlier version, Control N, say OK. If we need to size the ring to 3D print, we can do it afterward. But it's always good to know in which settings you are. I'll go millimeter, front, and we'll start using the polygon tool. Click here. And like I say, do not worry about the size, we can resize it. So six faces, say OK. And here I want to cut it in half. So I'll draw a line. I'll find the midpoint. Voila. Right click select or escape. Trim. We want to get rid of the top. So make sure you're in power trim here. Voila. And now we can actually delete this line and delete all of those relations. Perfect. Now I need this shape to be here, like a Y shape. So a quick way of getting the same, Control copy. So if you hold down Control and you drag, and now you can select this point in this and go merge. So now you have the same shape. This is going to be the fish bone of our pattern. So this is going to be at the center. Offset entities. Make sure bidirectional means both ways. And make sure base geometry is on. Mean that this will become dashed like a center line. It won't be uh, taken in account. And then you click, click. And I think 10 mil is about right. Maybe a hair too much. Well, I'll keep it this way. Say OK. And we don't want to use this. We just want to use this here. So what I can do, press L for line. We can cap the bottom. L to finish. All of this I can trim. But here I want this line to continue down. So I can go L and draw a line here. And I'll do the same here. Then we go trim, and we don't need this, don't need this. So you drag on anything you want to get rid of. Okay, trim, I'm still in it. So wait, here I want to keep the insides, so this, and this. Perfect, okay. Uh, here we have a point, but it's a center line, so I will not worry about it. You can go delete. Delete all of those relations. I'm just selecting and pressing delete on the keyboard. Uh, this one too, it doesn't really matter. And we want to close the top. So here actually all of the hard work is done. We could even fill at this if we wanted, but... So now we're going 3D, uh, feature extrude, to do uh, an extrusion. Uh, yeah, I think it was somewhere there, that type of thickness. Okay, and now I want to mirror this one here. So I go feature, because it's 3D, mirror. I want to mirror from this face. And what do I want to mirror? It's You have three choice. You can say a feature, a face, or bodies. Here it's easier to take the whole body. Okay, then we'll do those two. 
so another mirror from here but I don't want this so I can right click deselect and instead I can use the bodies okay then we can mirror going down from this face and we want to mirror the entire body and I think I did two more uh, I'm trying to think yeah yeah one more Uh, yeah, I think it's good. So now think of this as the ring, half of the ring, but been unflattened. Uh, you can go back by dragging this if you want to see all of your step. But I'm, or mute something. Now I'm good. So now I want to bend it. So there's a tool called Insert Feature Flex. And this lets you bend, twist, taper or stretch. Um, if you want a high precision, you have to put this to the max. The only drawback with this is that it's slow, but it's worth doing it. So I click here, and as you can tell, I'm in bend. Then I can say how many degree. And here we'll go. We want to do half, 180. If you do 360, it'll be hard to get them to uh, line up perfect. And we need to do this at the highest. So it'll take a few seconds. Not bad, and then we can mirror that. So from here, the body is this, and now you see everything is connected. We can layer the flex, so I can do another one. Uh, insert feature flex, and we could do even a twisting if we wanted, just to show you. I don't think it's what we want here, but so you could twist the ring, you can do a lot of cool things. But here what I want to do, it's not to twist, I want to do a bending, but from the other way to bulge it. So the easiest, you could click and drag this, but the easiest here is just to go 90 degree on all of them and it will reset. Look, you see? And now you can go slowly and I think I did 20 degrees. And this, you can move them, it means that it will do the effect only from here to the grid. So if you move this, I'm not going to do it now, but this will not get bent. So that's the trim. But uh, And in the video, I think I did minus 20 or 30 the other way. I'll go 25. Voila. Okay, so now we have the ring. The um, Basically, the ring is down, but... You could 3D print this, but now what we could also do is do um, a chamfer or fillet. And uh, here, 10 mil, 1 mil. I think they should be pretty uh, small. Let's try 1 mil. Uh, and you drag the whole thing. That would take a while. Often, if you don't see the chamfer or the fillet, it's because this radius, or here it's a distance, it's too big. You have to go lower. Actually, in my case, it might be good. Yeah. I think it will be more pretty if you do it without this, but I'm not going to wait. It's a lot of work to deselect. And then you say, OK. So as you can tell, those chamfer will be nice. It'll bounce the light. You could put a different material there. I think it's worth doing. Voila. So now you can see the chamfer. So I think on the image I did it, they were larger. Uh, now we can, uh, if you want to size it to a proper finger, you just go e insert feature, uh, it should be scale somewhere. Yeah. And uh, you have to measure. Uh, and uh, then, you know, set to, uh, so if you want it 20% 20, 20 bigger, you'll go like this, 1.2. 
if you want a 20% lower or uh, smaller 0.8 uh, and if you need to do a render a quick way of doing uh, it's to use photo view the light version of Modo make sure it's installed so that it works make sure photo view is clicked on the add-ins put this in perspective so you're getting more perspective then come here uh, select uh, first a scene this one is pretty common so double click then you find um, a nice angle you should have a backdrop here so something like this control middle click if you want to pan bring up your other one and to assign the color you go appearances and we could I think I use um, what did I do I forgot uh, I think I use uh, gold everywhere I use the mat so I went here to put it everywhere you say body so the whole body has it to see a preview you go preview window that kicks photo view and you see it looks like moto Now it's floating because I didn't model it properly. That'll be easy to change. Um, if you want to put more uh, material here, we can go back here. I think I use silver. And I must have used the mat. Yeah, chamfer. And then all of the chamfer will get it see the middle one is not very pretty uh, I forgot if I did this uh, I think it got back to me what I did sorry about this messed up uh, you can go here to erase things I think now I remember I removed the appearance I went silver everywhere it's the other way around so I took the body and instead of using the chamfer, I then went gold and put the matte gold only on the face, on the boss extruder. I think that's what I did. Yeah, that looks like a two-tone. Something like this. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, so control, middle click, drag it. If you want to tweak the lighting, have things sitting on the floor, change the highlight here. Edit scene. To have it, you go offset geometry. So now it's on the floor. If you want reflection, I'm not a big fan, but it's here. Then you'll see a reflection of the ring here. Sometime in jewelry they use it. I think it's a bit... Uh, and here you can go advanced and you can rotate to change where the highlight is so it will change the background so now you're getting you see lighting from the side that's actually pretty neat so it's completely up to you if you want ink here I don't think it works great but sometimes I use it you go option make sure the maximum is set for final and uh, here you could say contour and that would create ink but you you would have to go click on this one and you would have to go final render here I'm not gonna put contour so I'm gonna go final render here you can play with the bloom if you want it to glow I don't have a strong highlight so you would go like 60 uh, but here it doesn't work because I I changed the angle but usually I would go, I think in the one I show you I was 85 and this was at 2%. That's how wide, the lower you go the more glow and uh, how wide is the glow. But here, a little bit here, but not uh, enough to use it. Then you can save the image and as you know go Photoshop. I've done this in the previous uh, video for Ring and you can do uh, auto color, auto tone, auto contrast, fade them a lot.